simbahan po, nai. Kumain ka muna dito. Sayo naman ang inahin ng nanay mo. Oo oh, na, kumusta naman sa simbahan? Alam niyo, nai, tay, napakabait po ng pari natin. Paglaki ko po, gusto ko maging katulad ni Padre. Hayaan mo na si Lorenzo. Matatamot ako ko ang islamat natin. Hayaan mo na siya. Kasama niya ang Diyos. Padre, o Lorenzo, ang ada mo ngayon ha? Kawaan ka ng Diyos, anak. Marami pa po akong gagawin sa opisina, Padre. O siya muna, pumunta muna ako sa nayon. Sige po, Padre. Sige po. Pag-ingat po kayo. Salamat. Naging mabuting sakristan si Lorenzo sa isang simbahan sa Binondo, Manila. Naging clerk at tagapangasiwa sa isang opisina si Lorenzo dahil Nagagandahan ang mga parokyano sa pamamaraan ng kanyang pagsusulat. Hanggang sa may hindi ka nais-nais na pangyayari ang naganap. Pumatay sa taong to! Hindi ko alam! Si Lorenzo! Siya ang huli ko nakita na dumaan dito! Hanapin si Lorenzo Luis! Pagbabayaran niya to! Lorenzo! 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 Lorenzo, tumatas ka na! Bakit?
Pinagpatuloy pa rin ni Lorenzo at ng mga Dominikanong pari ang kanilang misyon kahit wala sila sa Pilipinas. Hanggang sa Help us for interaction our, our, in our lives that baptism God be our Father by raising Christ your Son. You conquered the power of death and opened for us the way to eternal life. Let, uh, let our sure the pain you injured in dying, we shall then remain living, death defying, we shall rise again. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Ikling pinagbabawal ang pagtuturo ng salitang kristyano dito. Pagkakawalan ko kayo. Kung itatakwil nyo ang pagiging katoliko nyo, kahit kailan, hindi ko itatakwil ang Diyos ko! Dalila at Abelon! Pagkakataon, pinatakwil nyo ba ang pagiging katoliko nyo? Pinatakwil ko! Padre! Ialay ko ang lahat sa kaniya! Patayin na yan! Blessed Pope John Paul II, who will be canonized this Sunday, has long been etched on the scribe of Philippine history when he beatified the Philippines' first martyr and saint, Lorenzo Ruiz. The late Pope spearheaded the beatification in equally historic Rizal Park. The 
first beatification field outside the Vatican, a privilege given to the Philippines for being the only Catholic nation in Asia. Tonight, let us look back at his historic venture and witness how the Pope united and reconciled the country and its conflicting societies. Mr. Is in February 29, 1981, held at the Rizal Park. This was the first time that a beatification was held outside the Vatican, a feat given to the Philippines as the only Catholic nation in Asia. As early as 4 a.m. during that day, Luneta was flocked with a million-strong crowd, all waiting for the elevation to blessedness of the first Filipino martyr. Upon the arrival of the Pope, Rizal Park was filled with jovial cries and frantic cheers of joy, made more meaningful when the Pope commenced with the preparation for the beatification rites. A concelebrated Mass was first held, the altar especially made by architect Jose Zaragoza. After the Mass, Pope John Paul II spearheaded the reading of the petition for Lorenzo Ruiz, along with his 15 other martyr companions, including nine Japanese nationals, four Spanish, an Italian, and a Frenchman, who all chose to die rather than denounce their faith. The Pope was all praised to the Philippines for producing its after 400 years of Christianity in the country and urged other countries to follow suit. After the beatification, the Pope spearheaded the unveiling of the monument of Lorenzo Ruiz in Benaldo, Manila, where he spent most of his life. In his message, the Pope hopes that this will eliminate all conflicts within the state and the church. Truly, in his papal visit, Pope John Paul II shed light to the Philippines, bridging gaps and promoting unity and reconciliation to the different sectors of society. For the people of celebration, this is Ara Perez. Taong 1987, noong i-canonize ang kauna-unahang Pilipinong santo na si San Lorenzo Ruiz. I report si Ruth Caban. For the sake of justice. October 18, 1987, ang madeklara ang unang Pilipinong santo, ang martir na si San Lorenzo Ruiz. Kasabay niya nga i-deklarang santo ang mga pari ng Dominican Order na sina Dominic Ibanez de Erquisha ng Spain at James Cusheto Monaga ng Japan at ang labing tatlong martir na sumama sa kanila sa Pilipinas noon. Ruth Cabal, GMA News.